will study the forelimb of the ox. So this is the left forelimb of the ox. Uh, this is the uh, head towards head, and this is the towards the tail. So this is the supraspinatus muscle, infraspinatus muscle. On the infraspinatus, there is a V-shaped muscle called as delta radius. This is the neck muscle. Uh, bear brachiocephalicus. Beneath the brachiocephalicus comes homo transverse areas. Okay. Now this is the triceps muscle. This is the long head of triceps. Lateral head of triceps. When the lateral head of triceps is reflected on the musculoskeletal groove, we'll get the brachialis muscle. Uh, I will find teres minor. Huh. Okay, coming to the medial aspect of the forelimb. Uh, this is the pectoral muscles. This and this. This is the superficial pectoral, which has two head. This is the deep pectoral, and this is the latissimus dorsi. Uh, in the middle portion of the scapular scapula, we will find the subscapularis. This is the teres major. Okay, this is the as we told now. This is the long head of triceps. This is the lateral head of triceps. Medial. Sorry, medial head of triceps. Okay. On the uh, long head of triceps, we will find tensor fascia antibrachii muscle. This is the uh, biceps brachii. This is the coracobrachialis. And anconius muscle is a small muscle uh, which is present uh, beneath the triceps, long head of triceps. Okay. This is the uh, lateral aspect of the forelimb where we will study the extensor group of muscles. So this is the extensor carpi radialis, the first muscle. Extensor carpi radialis. A small uh, muscle called as extensor car carpi oblicus will cross over the tendon of the extensor carpi radialis. So this is the extensor carpi oblicus. This is the medial digital extensor going to the medial digit. Then comes the common digital extensor which has two heads, the lateral head and the medial head which goes to both the digits. The next is the lateral digital extensor which only goes to the lateral digit. This is the ulnaris lateralis which is a flexor group of muscle. Actually it is a flexor muscle but misplaced on the uh, lateral side. Okay, So coming to the medial aspect of the forelimb, we will study the flexor group of muscles. So this first one is the pronated teres which is a, a pro, uh, rudimentary uh, muscle in case of uh, bovines because prona pro pronation supination is absent in bovines. So this is a pronated teres. Next comes the flexor, flexor carpi radialis. This is the flexor carpi ulnaris. If we reflect the flexor carpi radialis and ulnaris, we will find the deep layers which has this is the uh, super superficial digital flexor having two bellies, the so superficial head and the deep head, superficial digital flexor. Next comes the deep digital flexor which has three origin and four head. So this, these two are the two origin of the uh, deep di humeral head, humeral head of deep digital flexor. There is a small muscle which is a radial head. So this, this small muscle is a radial head of the deep digital flexor. And last one is the this triangular muscle coming from ulna is the ulnar head of deep digital flexor. Okay, coming to the palmar aspect of the forelimb, we'll find uh, we'll, uh, we'll study about the structures which are present in the carpal canal. So carpus will form a canal. Okay, coming to the uh, palmar aspect of the forelimb, we'll study about the carpal canal. So this carpal carpus is uh, surrounded by retinaculum which is a modified thick fascia which, which keeps the tendons of the flexors and the extensor in position. So the retinaculum which is present on the dorsal aspect or the no, dorsal aspect is called as extensor, extensor retinaculum and uh, on the palmar aspect is called as flexor retinaculum. Okay. <laughs> okay, now flexor retinaculum along with the palmar digital ligament will form the carpal canal. So inside the carpal, so okay, over the carpal canal uh, runs the tendon of the superficial part of the deep digital flexor. Start again. Okay. This is the uh, superficial digital flexor where the superficial part of the superficial digital flexor runs over the carpal canal and the deep uh, the deep part of the super superficial digital flexor passes uh, through the carpal canal. Okay, The structures which are present in the carpal canal are the medial nerve, medial artery, medial vein, 
and this uh, tendon of the deep part of the superficial digital flexor.